Hey guys, welcome back to Dad V Girls After Hours, the podcast where me and Sarah share behind the scenes from our lives. Ooh, Things juicy. we don't normally share on right. our main YouTube channel. For go. example, last week I spoke about my vaping addiction, which I've never, ever told anyone. No, we've always hid that on YouTube. So which I have quit, yeah. by the way. So we are going to be here every Tuesday, 6pm. Yep. So guys, make sure you subscribe and tune in then and watch us. And we're also doing the dilemmas section on the podcast, which is where you guys send in your dilemmas yep. for me and Sarah to give advice, maybe even help settle like a family dispute or something. Yep. So exactly make sure you that. send them in. And that's coming up later in the podcast. And that's always the bit I'm really looking forward to now. Yeah. Well, now now I am. Because the first one, I was like sweating. I was nervous. Like, oh, gosh, I felt so much nah, pressure. I feel like they're going to get but, better and better as well. Yeah. I've actually got some decent ones. And I want to see what you have to say about it. Ooh. Yeah. So anyway, what's going on? What's new? What's new what's in your new? life? What's um, new? I would say what's new? Chloe, our six-year-old. She's not new. For, she's been around six years. She's been years. around six years. And what a wild six years they have been. She's nuts. But, okay, we're pretty sure she has, like, ADHD. She's pretty wild. Yeah? Yeah. Um, oh, I don't like to say naughty, but we've she's, she's tested us. But recently she's showing a very softer, more vulnerable side. And she seems... A little bit needy and clingy, which so is not like her. very needy and very clingy. And just saying things like, because obviously where I'm working, even here doing the podcast, like I can't always pick her up from school. She started to say like, can you pick me up from school when you can? And I'm like, of course I can when I can. Um, she just seems to be like a bit more like questioning where we are when we're home and... I feel like she's really started to notice that we're busy. And before she didn't seem to care. Yeah. Like if we were there or not, she was in her own little world and she was happy with that. Because she's been saying Whereas like that she wants very... me to pick up from school. Can I take her to school and things like this? So yeah, I mean, she's I definitely she's... missing Casey. We've had I was going to say tears. that is, that is a, a thing that's very different. Yeah. We've had a few, quite a few tears of her missing Casey, which is yeah, very she's... sweet because their relationship is so strong. they They've always been like that. But it's really sweet. But yeah, seeing they, her crying because Casey's away traveling. Yeah. And she's like, how many so sleeps? And I'm like, her. oh gosh, it's so long. It's a long time. It's really hard to explain to her. But I do feel like we're very busy. And work you're very good at long. picking up on it. And you, and then kind of like bringing it back to, okay, family's mm. the most important thing. Definitely. Work and everything yeah. else second. Because sometimes... Things can just like, you know, you talk about work-life balance, yeah. right? And the way that I always think about it is you never achieve like perfect balance, like a seesaw. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, yeah, one work is, needs us at yeah, the minute and yeah. work needs us more. Or then sometimes, oh, the kids need us more. Yeah. And you're constantly that. Like, no one really gets it perfect. So no. you're good at recognizing, look, actually, do you know what? We need to spend more quality time with the kids. Yeah. And well, um, there's a, it's, it's very cheesy, but there's a saying that always sticks in my head of live, laugh, love. Live, love, love. Oh. Never, what is it? Never, about the... Um... Never back down, never what? No. Oh, sorry. No, you're making me forget it. I spent too no, much never, time on TikTok. Never, what is it about spending time making a living? You're, oh, never spend that, so much time making a living that, that you, you forget to live your life or something. It's, no. we, we have butchered no. that. Wait, wait. Oh, what is never it? Never spend so much time making a living that you don't That you forget up, to live your life. That you don't life. end up living no what no this no. is really much we literally have the sign we had it in our house at one point yeah but basically it's don't work so hard that you forget to enjoy this moment like our, our girls are only young yeah for a short period of and time also like and people say like when you're older you're never gonna regret not putting in more hours at work you're all like say you're on your deathbed yeah it's your final day and you're just like you're ready it's to the go. memories you're gonna regret all the Things you didn't do with your family and loved oh, ones. Oh, definitely. Not like, oh, and I, I also, wish I'd just spent a bit more in the office. And I saw a TikTok as well um, where they had, um, there was uh, the parents and the children, and they asked all the parents, if you could have a dinner with absolutely anybody in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? And a lot of them were famous people and a lot of the people that they look up to. And then when they asked the children, they all said they're family members. They were yeah. all like my mum and dad. And... And I thought, that's the thing. Like, and you asked Chloe? I asked Chloe and the first question, without even hesitation, she said, Grace, I don't really sit with Grace. And that's very true because what we do is we feed the younger ones first. And if I am if I am home in time, I would always sit with them. If you're home in time, you sit with them. 
But Grace doesn't. We, you, me and Grace, and if Casey's not traveling, we then eat later when we've put them to bed. Yeah. And they were like, and she said Grace straight away. And then Sophie said me. Did anyone mention me? No. No. Okay. Sorry about that. Cool. But it made so, me really open my eyes of like that family. Obviously, I always say it, but family is the most important. And that is where the time. So we we had the discussion up here. Yeah. Like we just need to make sure that when we are home, we just switch our phones off. We're work, more present. Can, yeah. Even if, if we've got things we have to do, we switch it back on. I'm, bed, I'm but, worse. Yeah, I'm way worse. I, I feel like I, I so easily get pulled into my phone. Mm. Like... It's, Something it, will happen in my brain and I think, oh, let me just quickly check that or a message will go off. And next thing you know, I'm not just checking that message. I'm I'm on Instagram or on TikTok. Like, you know, it's like a habit. Yeah. And I just want to come home, put my phone in a drawer and just lock it off. I feel like life out. was so much simpler when mobile phones weren't around, like back in back in our oh, day. Oh, God, don't. You're making it no. sound wild. Well, but old. it was. Like, you just got to enjoy your time with your friends, yeah. your family. Like, it, it just... It but just also, I feel like, so... Like moving on from the kids a bit, but yeah, our, where's our relationship at, at the moment? It's not great, is it? Are you not just my friend? Hey, pal. We're like roommates. Yeah, aren't we? No, I'm. I mean, we we joke, but again, we have actually. Like, you said yesterday, and I 100 percent agree with you. It's like, you like, we feel like we're drifting apart, and I genuinely yeah. feel like don't need to worry. We're not going to break up anytime soon, but or maybe. Mm. We'll see. Watch this space. No. No, but the thing is, like, we have. Like, not like not because we were not mm. arguing, but just because our lives are so busy. Yeah. That we We don't get date night. Like, we don't have the you and me time. And it does ever. It like, does take its toll. Like, it doesn't happen overnight. But yeah. slowly, 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 you do start I do yeah. feel quite distant from you at the moment yeah. which is kind Even of weird we spend right? so much time together we spend more time together now than we've ever done and in our lives thing, because we work together the we family together connection, and i think this is where we are very good at we recognize it we communicate it and then we're like what should we do yeah so it's like because imagine if you didn't night. you wake up three four five years down the line you're yeah. like How the relationship's gone and it's yeah. too it's too late yeah. so yeah. and none of us are were offended it's like yeah you're right we talk, we, we literally no work fault. together. No, and it's and it's not that we don't love each other. We love each other so much, so we know that I like you loads. Thanks. Yeah. You're all right, mate. But anyway, so basically we need to make more yeah. effort like that. Because the, the, Tomorrow, any spare time we do have, we're either with, the, we're with family or, or you're watching shit telly, yeah. Oh. Or you're on your phone. But I'm on my phone yeah. because you're watching TV. No, you watch stuff true. I don't like. That's not, like, let's be honest, that's right? That's not true. You watch Traitor, I don't watch it. It's finished you watch now. Love Island, I don't like watch it. It was only like nine episodes. Like, nine episodes. It went on. It felt like it went on for weeks. It wasn't even on like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You would, you would like, instantly put that on in the evening and not even consider. No, so do you, you want to watch this? Do you want to? So then you say, oh, I'm sat there on my phone. What else am I going to no. do? No. What you're also what you watching? When I said about like family time as well, it's like Grace has started to want to spend the evening with us in the front room and watch TV. Watching Love Island. Yeah, because that's what she's into. Yeah. I was I wasn't worried about watching Love Island. Traitor, though. But she What's wanted to. You watched, watched Traitor. With her. I watched it okay. with her. Anyway, Fair it's something that I now I'm like it's become our thing of like we get Ben and Jerry's ice cream. We watch Love Island. You could have been a part of that. You could have been. No one told me it was happening. No you, one said this is a family thing that we're doing together. No, because you you were just like you'd already started watching it without me. You no, never no, said no, 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 oh, no. I'm going to start Traitor. The first Do you want to watch you it? Sat next to me on your phone. You did. Yeah, but you didn't say like we're I didn't we're, know we're it was going to become it. an actual thing like the way it has. Because, I also, from what I've seen, I don't I, understand I, the obsession with Traitor because I, I've I've been in now. the Move room. Move on from that. I've been in the room with it and I didn't get it. Because you didn't watch it. Because you didn't like really watch it. Like you didn't draw. Like Love Island, if I'm in the room, it does draw me in. I do start watching it. I feel like if you, like starting from tonight, I like say we watch Love Island tonight. If you come in the room, put your phone away, I think you'd then watch it and you'll see like. All right, I'm going to watch it. And then, and then the communications there with Grace of like what's going on, and so it's that, just something that we can. Well, so we basically sussed it. The reason our relationship is on the rocks is because I haven't been watching Traya. There you go. Or Love That's Island. Your fault. No, but yeah, I think work, our free time, we seem to then plan to go out with friends or family. But tomorrow but we're going to spa. We are a really nice spa because Casey bought yeah. me a spa for my birthday. 
And not just any spa, Penny Hill spa. It's beautiful. Her presents are getting better and well, better. Well, she took me to Paris for my birthday. And That's then what she I'm said saying. to me, she, she bought like, me designer trainers for I'm Christmas. I'm away for dad's and I need to get him something really nice. Like, but the thing is, what I didn't get is like, it's for my birthday. She spa for two, but you just assumed that you were coming. And I didn't understand that because I didn't invite you. It's it's a gift of you and me. How did you get the gift? Because I didn't ask you. Because you don't want me to go with you. No, I'm joking. Of course, I want you to come with me. Yeah, because you ain't got no mates to go with. That's why. No, I know that's why. Yeah, of course. That's the only reason you want me to go. Okay, so on to our weekly. What Joel did. We need to call this. We need a name for this section. Name, guys. Give us some suggestions in the comments. What we should call this section, Joel? Like, like. It needs a it needs a name, it needs and a I name, want like, you guys yeah. to help us name this section where Sarah brings up something that I've done to annoy her. Which am I also allowed to bring up things? No, I, I don't annoy you. I'm perfect. No, I'm. Definitely... I'm Mary Poppins, practically perfect in every Mary way. Mary Poppins, I felt was a bitch. I'm not gonna. Well, I might... You feel like I am. So, you... did anyone else watch that film and think Mary Poppins was a bit of a bitch? No, really. Why? She was so like short with the everyone she was very she like got, Mah. she got things done she got things done she was efficient she wasn't very warm oh, I like and friendly no she wasn't she was well she, she was, was harsh she, oh, okay but anyway I've... unpopular opinion <laughs> mary poppins is a bitch but anyway <laughs> so okay. go on then, what have i so, done to no, wind to you up fair, this week to be fair you you we haven't actually oh it's really hard because i'm like we're gonna bring up stuff and it'd be fun but it's it's not even that juicy but at the moment, so intrigued. Especially this week, we've we only worked with um, a room full of girls. There was no other males other than you this week because in the some, office, yeah, in the office, yeah. there is no males because sometimes, obviously, we have males come in, which you can normally blame it on, and you always blame it on other people. But this week, it can only have been you. The toilet seat left up, disgusting. No other girl that works there should have to put the toilet seat down after you've been for, for a wee. And don't t tell me it wasn't you because you're the only boy in there. And I right. nearly outed you in front of everyone. I thought, no, don't, like workspace and all should that. I tell you why, should I tell you why it wasn't me? Why it wasn't Never you? Never in my life have I lifted a toilet seat to go for a wee. Why would I? I wee into the middle with the seat down. And yes, sometimes I might even, you know, but miss. Tell me how. If I miss, I wipe it. I never ever lift the toilet seat. Why would I? No, that's one that's extra a lie. step. You must knowing me, yeah, and knowing what I'm like, and knowing that I can be laziest I mean, that person you've ever feel met. Very true. So then who's lifting up? The Why would I lift seat? the toilet seat? Who is? Maybe someone's going for a poo and then cleaning it and then forgetting to put that bit down. But then why would they not? Why were they lifting it up? Thank why you. Are people lifting it up. So why am I getting the blame? And you was going to out me in front of the whole office. Yet someone in there. Sat there in the chair, and they would have why? known that they lived in the seat. I never but lived the toilet that seat ever. Make sense. But I mean, what I also want to know what I'm men like... are actually lifting the toilet seat because that's actually so. You're making out like that is such a bad thing. That's so courteous. What I'm doing is disgusting. Yeah. What but I put am it back doing down so then you don't have to touch it. No, 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 no. Let me just seat. just shush a second, okay? You said I was disgusting for leaving the toilet seat up. Whoever's pulling the toilet seat up to win it is courteous. People like me are disgusting because yeah, we are not lifting it. And sometimes we're not, you know, we're not hitting the mark. So we're missing it. Talking of that, I was thinking we could get into X. We've never really, oh, I know everyone we, talks about I, I, it, I, but I, I feel like we, we've never really spoke about X about each other. No, I mean, the biggest ick I think I had, which you don't do no more, was you wore the same, like you had multiple pairs of these Adidas shiny trousers. Shiny. They were like, yeah, well, not they shiny, were like but that. what are they like? Yeah, I know what you mean. They like, were they... tight and you'd wear like a black t-shirt. Like I wore the same thing every day for about three years, but I had multiple different. And they were gross. I had multiple like... different, like, I had like the same 10 t-shirts, the same 10. I'd... I was like, I was like Mark Zuckerberg though. I was so focused you'd... on the grind. I feel like you'd basically I didn't worry about, about was... Steve Jobs wears the same outfit and it, it's one less decision. Oh, I've got my ick. You... I was going to say, I've got no icks about you, right? My ick about you, and I'm not talking about years ago. You do this to this day. You wear this black roll neck, yeah? 
And you literally, I've, I would call you Steve Jobs. You look like Steve Jobs. You wear that in a pair of jeans and you look like I Steve Jobs. I don't know, I wear it with a skirt actually, in tights. It's lovely. In my mind, it's a cute it, in my mind you're wearing it with blue dad jeans and you're pulling the iPod out of your pocket for the first time on your on stage. <laughs> That's how I see you every time you wear that. No. And the other thing that gives me the ick is when you have your sunglasses on and you have your hair like pulled back you look exactly like salt know, bay you, you, you look this. like salt bay you you literally call no me honestly it, it gives me this and i hardly <laughs> wear all my hair back anyway or a hat or something because i feel like my dad i feel like i look like my dad and then you tell me i look like a guy like no yeah. you look like salt bay like you do and it's just it freaks me out an ick of yours is when you breathe really heavily like really close and it's really breathy yeah <sighs> I know I do and that. And it's hot I'm a, and it's smelly. And I'm, I'm a, like, when I'm not it's notice, so gross. When I don't notice, I, I and then I suddenly realise, I, I sometimes I am that heavy breather. The ick of the it. girls of yours is when you eat really loudly. You're very like... Just enjoying life. Yeah. Just, nom, that's, nom. that's an ick. I don't care about that. I mean, one. I don't think I have like, very many icks, like, though. I don't think I... I feel like I wrote some down once. Hold on. No, don't tell me you've got a list of X. I think I've got phone. a list of X. Hold on. No, wait, we did do... we. Hold on one sec. Oh, no. Have you actually... Oh, I actually have a list of X. Hold on. No, you don't. You've kept them on your phone. Oh, I did already talk about this in a different podcast, but your huge knickers that come halfway up your back... They don't come half. And up. I think, oh, she got a bodysuit on, she's got a t shirt, and then like I'll rub your back and I get to the top and it's like your knickers and they're yeah. basically almost under your armpits. They are an ick. And especially when they have holes in them. That is such an ick. They're massive. Knickers, they're nice. massive. You wear them all month round. Like you don't just wear no, them. Don't. You wear them every day. Yeah, I wear you do. big knickers every day, yeah. What and just the ones with holes in during your yeah, period. Um, that yeah, doesn't make like, sense. They're period knickers. I have certain what do you knickers. mean? They sound they're even bigger. They got holes in them. They're, they're even leak. bigger. Okay. Um, they were my pregnancy ones. I've just kept them. They're just huge. I even have here. And why do they have holes in them? <laughs> I wrote that. Uh, I wrote right. here when you fart and it sounds like a baby seal is trying <laughs> to escape from your huge knickers. Okay, because it's like <laughs> it's like that, and then I almost picture it like running up the top of your knickers and escaping out like that is, <laughs> that is honest that's an ick for me because i actually was going to start it so i have no icks about you because you're perfect mm. but now i'm getting into it you fighting is such an ick for me yeah but you um, you that weekend away we did you okay. happily fighting in front of our friends like the yeah so here's another ick smelling. so this is a one-time thing i haven't did. had time to think about it don't worry you. this isn't fair there's probably not a lot so that's fine but do you remember one time? Oh, God, this is such an ick. You only did it once, right? This is hilarious. No. I know what you're going to oh, say. Oh, God. No, we have to start with God, like, and you genu tell it. Genuinely. You tell when it. When I say my farts don't smell, my True. farts don't smell. Her farts don't smell. Like, for some reason, and my friends will laugh and joke when nature. I say it, but they don't. But this one time we were laying in bed and it did smell. Oh, God, I'm not really actually going to say this. But I was actually like quite proud of myself. So I said, Joel, oh, it kind of smells under up. She was like under the cover. She's like, oh, look, it's, what is that smell? Can you smell that? And I was like, you just, took I, one. I was, I didn't know what was going on. And I just went like that. I went, <laughs> I took the biggest sniff of my life. Like, oh my God. And I honestly nearly vomited. I was like, Whoa. I was like, you bitch. I like run out of the room like. Ugh. Listen, that one time you, got you me can though. say that my fart yeah, smells but you and it all, got you. Yeah, you got me. And I'm so glad I got you. It's like, is there any you other... smell all the time. Okay. Is there any other icks? Oh, I probably got loads, but I, I, off the top of my head, they're just not, they're not coming. Oh, when you don't use tissue to blow your nose and you, I hear you in the shower and you snot in the shower. I don't think that's even bad. That's gross. Yeah, like that's so gross. you're in the shower. No, uh, you clear out no your... you're even giving me the ick now. Please do What's not do that. What's wrong with that? That is so disgusting. It's like when people walk down the street and just phlegm or snot. No, like, I'm, don't do I'm that. I'm in the privacy of my own bathroom. It's going down the, it's it's going down the no, sink. No, you know sometimes when all the hair's caught up and I have to pull it out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So stop. It's gross. Okay, but also... It offends me. It, I have, it offends it me. It offends me. I have to deal with this plug. Do you ever wee in the shower? No. I do. 
so a couple of times as well, like you've been in the bathroom while I'm showering and I think I'm winning. I don't know if she's oh, going to notice. Oh, gosh. But yeah, I do. No, I always go for a wee first, shower. And the then other thing I do I, I is this an nose. ick. I'd never wash my feet or my legs ever. I mean, we've spoke about this quite a lot of the time. But this was a ongoing thing. I wash my feet. I wash my legs. I but... never, ever wash my feet. Because when you're in the shower, it's so impractical and almost quite dangerous to like try and, you know, like wash your feet and stuff. And there's always like soap at the bottom of the shower. So I think there's water, there's soap down there. Like we're good. My feet never smell. Come on. My feet well, don't, don't smell. smell. No, they don't. But, but you, don't get, you would notice if they smell. Them. My feet don't smell. So... It's net like I've I probably haven't washed my feet. Okay, you in don't like wash your feet. You also years. don't cut your toenails. That is an That's ick. an ick. <laughs> they are long. And then what about when the that naughty elf ick. painted your toenails? The no yeah, the elf on the, the shelf. The elf on my, the shelf painting your toenails. It was so bad. They and it, yeah. I, the, they that, look like my fingernails. I, I agree. That was so long. That because they're out of sight, out of mind, and I never remember to cut that, my toenails. That, now that's an ick. Okay, so topic of the week in our house has been. Getting you to book your vasectomy. Against my will. It's not really against your will. It is against my will because my will was to not have one and your will was for me to have one. Therefore, if I have one, it's against my will. <laughs> Why do I? It feels illegal, I'll be honest. Right. If I was pressuring you as a woman to have some kind of Listen. surgery to your body uh, but so I, that when I, I have, have my the, way with you, I'm it doesn't affect <laughs> like... It feels very no, illegal. We have had five girls. Yeah. Uh, my body cannot take any more pregnancies, whether I wanted another pregnancy or not. Okay. Yeah. The last, if people saw our YouTube channel, I nearly had to have a C section because I yeah. had issues. Anyway, so I cannot afford to fall pregnant and we don't want a baby. We've agreed we both don't want a baby yeah. anymore. So then. How do we, I, I can't then go for another big surgery and like, it's a big thing. Whereas for you, you're out walking that day. Like you'll be fine. It's it's not a big deal. It just deal. feels very it's not a big deal. intrusive. And then, it feels very fine. And it's, you, you said I want to keep well, my options open. Well, you, Whatever doesn't you work can. out with me and you. You can reverse it. When you find some young hottie <laughs> and she wants kids, reverse it. That's fine. I'll be off with Arthur. Half a chance. <laughs> no, but. I feel like we both agree. And then there's times that you agree, like, yeah, you should do it. I think... I just I think, don't like the idea. I think you're I scared of it. To be honest, I think I just don't like the idea of it. I think it is probably a practical thing to do. I really don't want to do it. It sounds painful. It makes me cringe thinking about it. And even though I know I don't want any more kids, like, I just feel like it just feels very final. It just feels like... And although I, I know we're not going to have kids, final, like, I feel like it's that thing of being like... I don't know, even though I know we're not going to have more, it's just weird how it's almost like it is so final. It is, but I feel like, we, yeah, we, we know it is. That Casey is at an age now where she just would be like embarrassed if she had a baby younger sister and she's nearly 19. So by the time the baby's born, it's like she's nearly 20. Like the gap's too big. We've, uh, we've, I know, like, we've but like it. you're like, just like you're, you're you're like really pressuring because you know me what it is. It's like I know I know like every other time when we've had a baby, if we were, I was to fall pregnant, like I would have there would have been happiness. Was I don't feel like that. Our paths have changed. Like we're saying like we're we're really trying to make sure we've got time for the girls that we have and the work and yeah. You don't need to sell me on the idea of not having. No, but more that's kids. what I'm like, saying. So we're so that. adamant we both don't want a baby. Yeah, I would be so upset if we accidentally fell pregnant because... Can't you have, like, some kind of... It's a big surgery for me. Is it? Yes. Is it? Your, my tubes would be tied. I, it's actual oh, full-on surgery. Oh, I'd have to be put to sleep and, cool. like, and stuff. Like, for I you, feel like you're there's literally no walking out the next really. day. It's not, like, a big incentive. I, I literally said the other day... I've got to go and take time out of my day. You can have a couple of days off and watch Netflix and just... No, because like, do you know what? You're, you're going to bully me on those two days because... Like you said, you should be up and walking, right? For me, the incentive would be like, okay, if I if I could have like a few days of like, you know, well, actually, you know what we said no. before, where you never look after me when I'm sick, right? Yeah. You okay. never, you're never sympathetic. But but my I friend feel like did say to you the other day, weirdly, I find this even more weird. Her her partner, her brother in law, and her brother have all decided no more children. They're doing a vasectomy to like together, together. but then they go, hands, they're, they're like going, that. they're then going for a boys' weekend away. Uh, she said you can join them. 
just just join them. Go on their boys weekend. And oh, like, I, I, I want to be look. You feel I, so? I want to be like. I want your sympathy. I want to lay on the sofa as if I've just had like okay, life changing surgery. I would do that. I want to be treated like I've just come out of intensive care, and you're checking on me. You're when tending I gave to my birth, needs. Did you treat me like this? Yes. No. Absolutely. I no. did. One hundred. No, you didn't. Anyway, this isn't about you. This is about me. So that's what I want, and I don't want a look of. Sh like I should be ashamed right. of myself no, for acting you, that like, way. If I promise you, forty-eight hours of being nice to you, caring for you. Seventy-two. Yeah, because seventy-two and it's done. Right, right here, right fine. now. Fine. Seventy-two hours. I can't meet you, but yeah. Handshake. Yeah, handshake. Seventy-two Still. hours, of, and not sarcastic looking after me. Not like rolling your eyes. Actual looking after me. I will me. look after you. And be nice. But it would be easier if you just went for a weekend away, though. No, I want to stay at home with you. Oh, looking right, after me. Okay. But did you book it yet or no? Because no. I told you it was on your to-do list. I know it was on my to-do list. I didn't put it on there, but it turned up there. Oh, come on. Just get it done. Just get it done. Just get it done. The way you think it's like just... Easy. A shopping list of things to just, do. You Just get it done. <laughs> anyway, talking of weekends away, something that I think is really unfair. When I go for a weekend away... Which is often, very often, by the way. My mum and dad, so helpful to you. Yeah. When I go, when you go away. Which is not so often. Not so helpful. Okay. We've got this ongoing joke, haven't we, that you are like, they love me more. They love you more than they love me. It's easy to I'm do. I'm starting to feel that's true. No, do you know what it is? They know what I have to deal with. They know you very well. <laughs> and they know and feel for me that I have to live with you and no. deal with you. So it's not that they like love me more. They obviously love you more. You're their daughter, but they can sympathize and empathize. So why do they not help you when I'm around rather than when I'm gone? So when, when you're gone, got, it's easy I think first of all, they think, gosh, she's gone a lot. Like, where is she? She's gone again. She's gone for the weekend again. So they think, That's oh, and they, they know that you're very capable, right? Of sorting the house, the kids, everything all at once. Whereas I'm like, if I'm sorting the kids, the house is a mess. If I'm sorting mm. the house, the kids it, are a mess. Because so, the last time I came around, what did they do? One, well, so every, so pretty much, and they would yeah, so home. the last time you went away, I struggled so badly. Even though I've been doing this like 18 no, years. No, we were going through a rough stage these. with like Chloe and Maddie at bedtime. They oh, were both. They, brought, they honestly and nearly brought me person, to tears. Yeah. They nearly brought me to tears. Like the bedtime yeah. routine went on for hours. The house was an absolute tip. Your mum and dad rung me. And they were like, they were both on the phone last week. And they're like, how's it going? I was like, I'll be honest, it's like not going so well. I was like, I'm really struggling. They were like, okay, well, we'll come over tomorrow. We'll help with this. Do you want us to come in the morning or the afternoon? I was like, can you come in the afternoon? Like, could you help with like, yeah. So they helped with like, they cleaned the house. They did bath time routine. Obviously I was doing stuff as well, but having all three of us yeah. there, it helped so one, much. What, the ratio, one, one adult per one child. Yeah, it really it helped. They literally, I felt like they come and rescued me. But yeah, no, they wouldn't do that for you. But the thing is, you know, they know, it's like they know I need the help and they're really nice. And they've done it before. They've come over and tidied the house when you're No, away. it's actually really sweet. And they also I know, know like they... I'm sort of in fear of my life of what will happen if you walk through the door and the house is a tip. Yeah, so they sort of, also true. They're sort of like, they're saving me my life and saving you from a prison sentence for murder. So oh, they they're actually sort of doing they're it for you. To me. Yeah, I see. They yeah. Care. But no, also your mum and dad, like they do kind of like, if we're having a bit of an argument, they do side with me more. They do. It was I, the other day when um, you, you, I'd said to you, can you do something? And my mum and dad turned up and you were playing with Chloe. And then I come down, I was like, why have you not done that? And you're like, oh, I forgot. My mum and dad like, oh, but he was playing with Chloe. He looks so happy. I'm like, yeah, so he should be, but I've asked him to do something. Oh, d I know, but he was having such a lovely time. And I'm like, whose side yeah. do you want? And then my mum's like, maybe you start writing him a list. I'm like, for one thing, I shouldn't have to write him a list. No, like, so first of so, all, they're always on your first side. of all, you actually, you gave me about four things. Two, two. You gave me about four things to two. do. Two, okay, The bins fine. and Hoover. Two. I, Okay. I remember them. She gave me two things to do. And then, so I did one and I just totally forgot to do the other one. But, and then I was playing with Chloe. 
And then you you were so hard on me. You were so like just rah. Because that they also felt that sorry because they also looked and thought, you know what? Like he's done that other thing. He's totally forgot to do that. That's fine. Not a big deal because he can do it in like five minutes. And now he's playing. No, because Chloe. what? And in then my they brain. and also I really play up to it because I see them like yeah. I see how they feel and I really kind of do the whole. Oh, you know, I just I can never get anything right. <laughs> and she's just always on at me and da da da. And and as they're leaving, I'm like, Ick. I'm like, send help. I'm like, if you don't hear from me, yeah, it is really annoying. I'm buried in the garden. They are, they are very much on your side. There was one time, um, do you remember, like when we, we we've spoke about it on our debut um, documentary of like how in the beginning it nearly broke us, yeah. but genuinely we actually called my mum and dad in to be to a mediate. bit of a mediate because we were really struggling with like arguing. We just we just kept like, um, but they totally took my side, and they did, and I'm like. Next thing you know, you got the three of us so, telling you you're in the wrong. So stressed. She still wouldn't accept she was in the wrong. But anyway. Yeah. They do yeah. love you. They even they even talk about how I they love would your love, mom and dad. They would love to move in with us. They they say, like, let's just get one big house. Yeah, I'm like, Sarah, you can move out, they can move in, like it just would be so yeah. peaceful. And my banter back to them is like, no, because when you're old and someone's got to wipe your ass, like it ain't me. Maybe it's you. Maybe that's what you could do. You're so close, your relationship. You can be their oh, carer. That, that's, that's weird. <laughs> I pay someone to do it for them. That's oh. what they're into. No, they're going to listen to this and think that's the green light of that they're moving in with us. That's what you've just done. I'll move in with them. Oh, they have said that. You, what was it? No, we were saying about laughing. Like if we broke up, you were saying you would move in with my mum and dad. I would. If me and you broke up, I'd probably move in with your mum and dad. You know, like people go home when they break up with their is other that half. You're, that, my home is your mum Is that your, your new dad. young girlfriend when you're re reversing your vasectomy yeah your dad would be like go on my son get in there oh oh gosh. <laughs> no no i would I, I think i would actually if your mom and dad if me and you broke up and i was just like oh i think I if your you mom and dad would have me i'd I'd be there they would ha yeah they would have you and that's where you'd yeah we have to I'd go i thrive i would thrive at your mom and dad's they would look after me if i was sick god like your dad would be doing my blood pressure because mm -hmm. he's like uh Sort of like a paramedic, yeah. like a first responder. Your mum would be making me sick. Although it was funny because they were telling me that the argument they had, um, my dad, obviously I was really poorly with um, chest infection and now my dad's got it. And I can't remember what had happened. I think, I don't know if the dog had been sick or something. And my dad was clearing it up and he kind of looked at my mum like, if this was Sarah, would you make her do this? <laughs> Where she made him clear up the sick and he's on his hands and he's clearing it. Like, you wouldn't make Sarah do this. Oh, so yeah, same that, sort of that is, like, that's deep. That's where I get my harshness from. My mum is very... Not to me, she's not. She's no, lovely not to, to me. You. She's so but lovely My mum is me. a tough, a tough cookie. To you. That's obviously where I got it from. Yeah. And my dad's the emotional one. Your dad's which soft, my your mum's heart, takes harsh. That's like after. me and you though. I'm, mm. I'm the soft one. Out of, yeah. In our parenting, I'm the soft one. No, but parenting, work... That again, this has been an argument that we spoke about quite a lot. Like, I'm the bad guy in everything. Like, yeah. And it's not always very nice to feel that way. Then don't be the bad guy. No, but you're so you, soft. You, like, the thing is, you don't want to change from being the bad guy. You just want me to be the bad guy with you. Have you ever seen that yeah. scene from the other guys? Yeah. When they go, they go, let's do good cop, bad cop. And the guy. He's like, big, bad cop, bad He thought bad, he's bad cop, bad cop. So everything he does, he yeah. gets worse. Yeah. So actually there was a time when you, it really got you down that you were always being the bad cop in the parenting. And you said, why have you always got me the soft one? You're always making me look like the bad one. I'm always the one saying, no, you can't do this. And da da da. And if they're talking to me disrespectfully, blah, blah. So <laughs> Casey was out of line, right? And she was disrespectful to you. So I thought, right, it's my chance. So I step in and I'm like, and I, I let her have it. I'm like, Casey, really? don't talk to your mum like that. That's disrespectful. Blah, 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 blah. Thinking I'm what giving... No, shush, what's shush, coming shush, out, shush, so you shush. Know that. Let me finish what I'm saying. So then you... Yes. So I'm saying to Kate, I'm telling her off, right? That's your opportunity to be like, you could be the good guy. You could be like, do you know what, Joel? Settle down. It wasn't that bad. You came in. I'm here. I'm here. You come in here. And I'm like... You can't no, help yourself. Again. I was what bad you cop. Felt, you were like you worse saying, cop. No, you weren't bad cop. Even my friend was sat there and she even laughed and said, is that what you think? Telling, like, you wasn't. What, what you, did you want me to do? Drag her into our like, room? You wasn't even, no, but you wasn't even like that. I again, told her off very for being soft. disrespectful. It wasn't told off. It's like, oh, okay. Like, no, it wasn't. I'm mind? not having that. Like, no, you're talking like, shit. No, but as in, no, you okay, are okay, talking shit. I'm exaggerating, but you Should I tell you what it was? 
he you're wasn't. Casey. I'm I'm me. No, you're no, Casey. I'm me. You're Casey. Hear that? But you wasn't. I'm me. You're I'm Casey. telling you, my friend was there as well. Okay, and she we're taking afterwards. we're doing it in three, two, no, one. That's terrible. You don't need to. Casey, the way you spoke to your mom Look just at your now. Face. That's not serious. The way you spoke to your mom was disrespectful. Okay, and you owe an apology because I'm not having that in my no. house. No, not under my roof. No, no, absolutely not. Not on my watch. No, no. Did I or did I not? No. No, you're soft. You're way too soft. It's nice sometimes. So, guys, I think what we've witnessed here is that when I am trying, then you just basically say it's not good enough. So what's the point? I may as well just, I, I'll be the oh, good guy. I'll be gosh. the good anyway, guy. Anyway, get to the dilemmas because this is terrible. Go on. Okay, fine. Oh, guys, if you want to send a dilemma. A DM, dilemma. A dilemma. <laughs> <laughs> then DM us on our uh, podcast Instagram, which is uh, Girls Pod. On Instagram, okay? We will help you settle disputes or give you advice. All right, this is a good one. Oh, gosh, why are you smiling? No, just because I feel like I feel like it's a good one. Oh, okay. No, it's not. I feel like you're going to trick me and it's like... It's not, no. Okay, my so... My mum and dad have wrote in or something. <laughs> we prefer my son-in-law to my daughter. How do we tell her? <laughs> so this one's in from Ros Biddle. Okay, no, this is from Anonymous. How do you compromise on Christmas with in-laws? We spent Christmas with my family in 2023, but this year his family expect us to be with them. I don't think I could be away from my mum and grandparents during Christmas dinner. Our families don't live close enough to do both in one day oh. as we don't drive. Oh, that's really tough. Again, like... That is hard. Um, oh, that is really tough. We spend every Christmas with my parents. Um... Because my brother obviously passing away, we just couldn't think of my mum and dad being on, like. Should we just dive into what we do, like how we've got to where we are with Christmas and that? Yeah. I feel like, yeah, so basically, yeah. after, so we used to do um, one Christmas with my parents, then with your parents. But then when your brother passed away and. Because my sister your... continued to do the, with her in-laws at, at a period. Yeah. So I was like, I can't do one Christmas where we're together and the next my mum and dad on their own. And your family is so big that it couldn't fit. And and the bigger we've grown as a family. of They as, can't fit us all in. They can't fit us all in. So then, but it kind of happened quite naturally. It wasn't like I had to turn around and say to my family, we're not doing Christmas with you anymore. Yeah. But we also have Christmas at our house now. Yeah. Whereas we used to go either to your mum's or my mum's. Mm. So we're kind of like, you know, whoever wants to come to us for Christmas, but obviously yeah. my mum won't leave their family like the because the extended yeah. family for yeah. Christmas to just to come to us, so it's kind of just naturally happened where yeah. we just have Christmas with your family, and in fact, your sister now has now has also done Christmas. the same because your sister also had this dilemma where she would go not really far, but they like quite, quite far, far yeah. like an hour and a half in the car. They would go to her husband's parents one Christmas, and then the next with yeah. And she just didn't want to do it anymore, did she? Because no. like it was a long it's drive. It's really hard the when the kids and... just open their presents and then it's like, okay, right, we're up, we're in the car, we're out. Whereas now they don't actually come until we're about to eat. So she's. I also think it's hard because been... everyone has their different traditions of what they think is a good Christmas. Yeah. So if that's very different, it's like every other Christmas, you're not really getting the Christmas that you want. Yeah. So I just, I think this is really hard. I think it would be easier if you were, I don't know what your situation is, if you could have Christmas, like we're having Christmas at home. Yeah. At our house, and uh, people can come. People to are you, welcome so you to come. Like both sides. So you yeah. could, I, but I obviously I don't know if you've got the space. But that's a way that you could start, and then it would then be up to them who does and doesn't come. Yeah. And it's or like, even again, like communicating with your partner or husband. I didn't remember what you said. Um, but you could ask them how they feel. Do they? Is it really important to them that they go to their families every Christmas? Because then it is a give and take. Or is it that, no, actually, you know what? We could make Boxing Day a Christmas day of my family and have two Christmas days. Because yeah. that's what we do. We then meet your family and our girls feel like they get two Christmas days and they love it. Um, yeah. So that, I also feel like way. with your sister, it was like a really hard conversation in the beginning, but then they were so glad like once it, they'd done it. Yeah. So it could just, I don't know. Obviously, I don't know. Like you said, and I don't know what your partner's hardest, thinking. If your but... partner's loving Christmas with his family and that yeah. then that is really tough but if he's also feeling the same way it's kind of a really yeah. difficult conversation but you kind of just need to have it and be like well, look this is what we want to do for christmas yeah we can come see you boxing day or we can do something another day but you kind of 
sometimes yeah. you need to be a little bit selfish as long as you're both on the same page. Yeah, exactly. If it's just you feeling like that, you kind of yeah. got to suck it up yeah. because if he wants to go and see his parents for Christmas, like, yeah, you have to suck it up, don't you? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Unfortunately. So speak to him. Yeah. Find out where he's at. I'm going to do another dilemma. Yeah. Find out where he's at. I think that's the, the best. <laughs> he's at his mum and dad's for Christmas. Where's she? Right. I know. Um, actually, who cooks the best roast? I'd be there. Whoever cooks, cooks the best. Because Ryan cooks the best cauliflower cheese in our house. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. I'm pregnant. Woo. Congratulations. Woo Congratulations. And my baby name may or may not have been stolen by my partner's cousin. I'm going to say Ooh. it has. As in maybe she's pregnant too and she's said that she's actually having that name maybe. I may or may or not. She don't know yet. Do I keep the name the same and say fuck it or do I change it? I'm really in love with the name and I have been since I was a kid. Oh. Us girlies know what our babies are going to be called from a young age. Thanks. Well, I always love... Partner's loved... cousin. So, yeah, not your... Yeah, okay. I, I always loved the name Penelope and from a young age, I thought I would have a little girl called Penelope. But Maddie was actually called Penelope for about Every time we've had a baby, it just, it wasn't right. And I was adamant, right, the next baby would be Penelope, which is Maddie. And then it just didn't suit her. So maybe firstly, the name actually doesn't always, I think you then should never get things engraved while you're pregnant. Her because, baby Penelope. Yeah. And she suits Penelope. Yeah. It suits her. So, and, and maybe your sister. Okay. But let's say like, let's say so that she loves she, the name. She loves the the name. First of all, who's having their baby first? Cause she hasn't told us that. Like, who's having the, if she has the baby first, name that baby what oh, you want to name that baby. hundred percent. Go for and it. I always think in that but, conversation when they say like, oh, I like this name. Say she quickly tried to get in. You should be like, oh, that's my name. I've had it since I was a child. Get it in there first. So then you're putting doubt in their mind. No, it's too late. Chatting. That's already happened. Well, yeah, she but that's what knows. I'm saying. But no, I'm saying like, yeah, anyone else. Said, oh, that's the But anyone yeah. else moving forward, always just be like, oh, that's my name. I'm, I, I thought of that. But okay. So let's say, right. So if she's having, if you're having your baby first. Name that baby, whatever you want to name it, because you got yeah. in there first. If you aren't having that baby first and the, and your cousin's, your partner's cousin's baby come first, now what? Yeah. What you I mean, if that's the name you were on and you know in your heart you would regret regret it, you've got to call the baby it. Like, you have to. Also, like, how close are you with the cousin? Are you just seeing them, like, every Christmas? Are you seeing them, like, every week? Yeah. Yeah, because if they're in school together and they're going to go You are also together, always going to look like course, you copied that baby's name, even though you didn't. You're always going to look like, oh, yeah, she named it. That is really tough. And they're like basically going to be the same age. I know so many people that keep their baby names like complete secret because they're scared people would tell them. Yeah. So they don't tell people. Oh, and was... did she steal it? Like, did she actually Did she actually get the idea from you and steal it? Yeah. That's crazy. That's why you never tell people your baby's name. Yeah. Oh, that is a tough one. Do you know another reason why you never tell someone what you're going to call your baby? Oh, because the opinions that you're getting. Because they, it's not your baby's name. So if you say, oh, when the baby comes, I think there I might name it. There will always be someone who doesn't it, like it. Or... Susan or whatever. They will give an opinion because it's mm. not your baby's oh, name. Oh, I knew so-and-so and she was this. Yeah. She was but if you or... say, this is my baby and her name is Susan. Yeah. They're not going to have an opinion because that is your baby's name. So they're going to keep their mouth shut. Yeah. So that's why you never tell someone what you're going to call your baby. Because you don't want to know their opinion. And then it's like, well, I am going to call it, And now I know what you think about it. It's like my sister was set on calling her baby Phoebe. Do you remember? Yeah. And she said it was Phoebe the whole way through her pregnancy, adamant. And then when she started giving birth, the midwife was like, what's the baby's name? And she said, oh, it's going to be Phoebe. And then the midwife was like, come on, Phoebe, push Phoebe. She looked at Ryan and she was like, we're changing the name. <laughs> like, it's not Phoebe. So you can easily get put off the name. I feel like if, um, your, if your partner's cousin stole your baby name. Oh, oh that so is really mean and terrible. Like, That's the thing though, once you... Especially if yeah. you are that, because like... As I say, it, do you know woman, what? You but do think it, about like your children and your if you really want the name, if the thought of not having your baby called that name is worse than the thought of you looking like you copied the name, yeah, just go with whatever one you think. Yeah, again, how close they are as a family, and so basically, we've really helped there. Do what you want. It's not really helped, is it? Oh, that is because I don't I know all the details. Her. I'm going to yeah. do another dilemma. Oh, I'm just I'm, I'm yeah, I want to get through dilemma. people. I feel like we're really changing the world here. Okay, 
Uh, my dilemma is the boy I'm in love with who claims to be in love with me gets with other girls and tells me he can't be in a relationship, but he also tells me he's in love with me and when we are together, he acts like I'm his girlfriend. Okay. No, uh, I'm going to help you here immediately, no. Red flags, absolutely immediately not. Immediately, no. Know your worth. Know your worth. Girl. That, Come he on. is not in love with you. He's just saying what if he's If someone's saying. in love no. with you, they wouldn't want to hurt you. If they've hurt you, they, you know, they wouldn't mean to. Like, absolutely not. That's the biggest red flag. If that was one of my girls... I would say end it now. You you just walk away from that situation completely. One it's not worth it. Walk away from that. There is no if no buts or maybes. If you were my daughter, I'd be saying to you no. no, no, absolutely not. Walk away. It's never like no. You're worth. You are worth. You're gonna so waste much your time, that. energy, and you're gonna go through heartbreak after yeah. heartbreak with him. Yeah. And do you know what? Life is too short to do that. Yeah. There 100%. is someone out there. Who will treat you the way you need to be treated? And I feel like that's no. If you know your worth, then you get that. You need to. You need to be like, I'm not accepting this. And this is what we always say to the girls, isn't it? It's like, no. yeah, absolutely not. Just outright no. Move on. I brought from him. I am moving on. Oh, sorry. I oh, know. So, poor girl. That's no, nah, no. Nah, it's, it's, it's. I'd hate deep. that. That that. I bought a kit. I brought. I brought a kitten home without telling my dad. He works a lot and gets home late in the evenings. What? And never really comes into my room. I've had the kitten staying in my room for two days now. I can't bring myself to tell him or let the cat out. Let the cat out of the bag. No, wait. So when it's meowing, does he? Does she just walk out in the hallway like meow, meow? <laughs> like, okay, like, <laughs> because cats meow a section. lot, right? Well, I don't know, but it depends where the room is in the house. Like, that's crazy. You bought a cat. Oh my god! No, I'm sorry, but you can't. And also, it's not no, fair on the cat because the cat can't live in your room forever. Like it, is, your cat needs to be able to like go out. And you're gonna have to get a cat flap and like no, you sorry, you've got to just. That is. Why crazy. don't you? Ah, oh, this is what you should do. But pretend it's his as a present. Oh, that's even better. Well, I was I was gonna say, why don't you pretend you found it, and then you rescued it, and you're like, look, I've just found, found it in my now. bedroom. And uh, look oh how gosh. much get the dad to like. Oh, look how much she he loves you. Look, he's mm. or give it as a present. But no. But then imagine if he he takes it as a present. He loves the cat so much. And it's his cat now. It's like get away, it's my cat. Yeah, imagine. Oh like, gosh, no. Well, you have you ha yeah, you have to be open. He's gonna find no. out, and it would just be better if you just be like. Okay, no. This is what you do. This is how I did it when I told my mum. That we that that Sarah was pregnant because we were only eighteen, so and I didn't tell my mum for months. Like you were almost like what's five six months pregnant by the time mm. I told my mum because I was so scared to tell my mum. So what I did is I rung my mum up and I made out that the worst thing in the world had happened. I was like, mum, I don't know how to tell you this. It's so bad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This went on for so long. My mum was like, "Tell me what's happened." She what thought you'd she thought I'd someone. murdered someone. She's like, "Just tell me. Just tell me what's happened." I went. Sarah's pregnant. She was so relieved. She was like, it's a life, it's not a death. Like, she was so like, relieved, yeah, yeah mm. that any anything else just went out the window. Yeah. So that's so, what you need to yes. do. Need to make out to like, your dad you've done the worst thing I've in done the world. I'm really sorry. When, he, when you tell him yeah. that that you got a cat and you're not pregnant or something like that, he's going to be over the moon. Yeah. So yeah, well that done. Is, that is nah, good, that's, that's a good one. A We're on a roll. Should we do one more? or Oh. Do a quick one. Oh, this is hard. My brother has not been invited. No, start that again. My brother has not invited my long-term boyfriend to his wedding and I was not a bridesmaid because I am not Ooh. close with his fiance. Thoughts, please, as I think it's so wrong, but I'd have to go to the wedding as it's my brother and we are really close. Oh, so she's really close with him. So wait, but how does this work? So, so if you her really close brothers getting married, but they're not close, so she wasn't then a bridesmaid. But is that that's fair? gonna cut deep? Is that fair? If you weren't close with my wait, my your sisters weren't a bridesmaid for your brother's wedding. Ah, oh, that's deep. Were they for our first wedding? Yeah, I've always had your sisters. Yeah, but you are close with my sisters. Yeah. What about if you weren't close with them? Would you have had them? I don't know. I don't know because we are. I'm I'm really close with your sister, so I don't know. I feel like maybe. I feel like in that's a, quite hard as a wedding. Like part of also, you, you what do about need to be selfish of like having yeah. people around you that you are so close with? You don't the want... morning of is yeah. so special. So from the bride's point of if view, if you're not close, if they're not close, and you feel like you have got to look after somebody or 
like from her yeah. point of view. I don't know the relationship there, but I don't get not inviting your long term boyfriends to the wedding. That seems quite odd. Again, the money side of things is it's very expensive, and maybe they maybe speak to them because on our I would say like wedding, sis, a sister's long term boyfriend is probably quite high up on the list of people that should be invited. Right? Yeah, definitely. I do in think fact, it is hard. Not. We have obviously been. On the other end of yeah. things of like, we've organized was, a wedding and we've looked at it and gone, one, it costs so much money. Every single person who's coming yeah. is costing you money and you want to make sure, and you only have so much budget. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that every single person there is someone you 100% yeah. want to be yeah. there. And, um, when and we I don't did know that, if you're, I would say she needs when you say long term, is it like, is it like long, long term? I would say she definitely needs to speak to her brother and just say, look, these are things that have upset me. Is there a reason for it so Should I can she? understand it? It's his wedding. Do Definitely. you really need no, to? No, 100%. You don't want to be that person no, though, do no, you? No, no, But she should. Why? Because there would be a reason that will make her feel better and that she can then be What about if it's a reason elsewhere? that won't make her feel better? Like, we just don't really like him. Yeah, but then she needs to then know that. Like, why? And just... Yeah, but do you really... Because then if she doesn't have a great relationship with the brother's fiancé and she's the one pulling him to the side and be like, why... Why am I not a bridesmaid? Why my boy? Like, do you not think that she's? Gonna... I feel like the bridesmaid side of things. You do. I think what the thing is that like when you're there is two sides. Like when you're getting married, it's so stressful, it's so expensive, mm. and you have to think about so many different people. Like if I invite that person, then I have to invite that person, but we can't invite everyone. So I do that... think be very sympathetic to the fact that he like might like be under a lot of pressure as my, well. My sister has six children, so when we got married, her six children, well, five of the children are now big, like, you know, they've got partners, some of them got babies, like, and I'm, and I, I am closer to one of the sons. Um, well, Basically, like, yeah. only and one I, of the I'm partners got one. invited because it's the only one that you again, actually it's know. Like, there was a yeah. big family. It would have cost so much to have we didn't sat know them, them. All down. We didn't know them though. You That's hadn't met a few of them, but this is what I'm saying. It's like, I was really clear with my sister as to why. But imagine when your sister got married, because we were like boyfriend, girlfriend when your sister got married. Imagine mm. if they didn't invite me. That would have been deep. Yeah. That would have been deep. So, yeah. Maybe just oh, have a word with your brother. I, would have, I actually would have said, yeah. I would have asked. Have ha, Be sympathetic to the fact I that think the when bridesmaid one is okay. Yeah. It's like you're not that close. You can't the morning be expected is to be a, a bridesmaid. Yeah. It, it's, if, you, if that was like, the, the fact you're not that close, I don't yeah. think that's that deep. But I think the partner one, just ask, just be like, it, it, what about if I paid for him? Could he come? Is it a money issue? Do you not like, like him? Yeah. Like, just, you need to find out just, why. Just find it out. I would say that. Yeah. And then it could be, or get your mum. Or like, like, you know, if that was like... Start a whole family Imagine if mum come to me like, but why is so-and-so not invited? And I told them why. They can then... Yeah. Let them know. It doesn't need oh, to be an issue. Oh, I noticed that Timmy wasn't invited to yeah. the wedding. Why, why was that? And then, yeah, yeah they I said, not worry about the bridesmaid, but ask why he's not invited. Yeah. Like, right, I'm going to move on from this. Yeah. Should we end it? The pod or this? Uh -huh. Made that joke last time. Always. Can I ask you a massive favor? Can you please subscribe to the podcast wherever you're listening to it? We massively appreciate it. It lets us know that you're enjoying it. So, yeah. And we will be here every Tuesday, 6 p.m. See you next week. Bye. Bye.